What's up, YouTube Nation? This is Ronnie J. Cole II with EXP Realty, and I'm gonna make this video quick today. This video is all about some market knowledge. Um, this particular real estate market right now is crazy in terms of everything that has happened. And so if you are a buyer right now that's looking for property, you are probably pulling your hair out. So I'm gonna give you some information about kind of what's going on, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back everybody. So we're talking about the market for buyers right now in terms of trying to find a home. Heck, not even buyers, even people who are trying to rent homes right now, it is tough. I mean, there are so many buyers right now in the market that it's crazy. And I think it's been like a, like a, 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 just a perfect storm almost with everything that's gone on to create this pent up amount of demand that the market is seeing right now. I mean, if you think about it, the area in which I live, which is Georgia and the Atlanta area, already because of the growing number of companies that are moving here and companies that are putting their headquarters here and companies that are all of a sudden deciding to expand here, there is this huge expansion of people that are coming from, I mean, California, Texas, New York, uh, Virginia, New Jersey, DC. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. And so with all of these people moving to the area, guess what they want to do? They want to buy a home. Now you have some that want to actually rent a home, but either way right now, there aren't enough homes on the market. There aren't. And so, you know, on top of you have all of these people that are moving here to this area. Now you're getting to the point where the millennial generation, which at about maybe five to 10 years ago was moving into the workforce. Well, they're matriculating. And so now they're getting married. And so now they're starting to have their first kid. And now they're getting ready to have, maybe have their second kid. And so these people are either looking for starter homes or they're looking to upgrade homes. Probably more so on the starter home side because they're just getting out of that renting phase of life. And so that's adding more people to the buyer pool. Now, here's the third thing that actually is playing into that. So not only did I say you have people that are moving here because of jobs and job growth, you're having the millennial generation all of a sudden getting ready to buy. You have baby boomers that are now starting to downsize. So these people once had three, 4,000 square foot homes and, you know, had five, six bedroom homes because they had all these kids. Well, their kids are grown. They've either went to college or they've graduated from college and most of them aren't coming back home. I know they say that, you know, millennial is the, what, the boomerang generation where they come back, but most of the time they're not coming back. And so the baby boomers are starting to downsize. And so they're not looking for large four or five bedroom homes. They're looking for two, three bedroom homes, the same as the new millennial couple with kids, the same as the buyers that are moving from uh, all of the different states that I talked about moving here for their jobs. So it's crazy just the amount of people that are all looking for homes in the same time. So what's happened running why aren't there enough homes on the market i will tell you it's called covid 19 people the coronavirus the coronavirus has basically spooked and scared people to the point to where they may not move or matriculate in their housing so the generation that's now i would probably say maybe generation x is at that point where they should either be moving up in property um you know maybe going from a three bedroom to go to a four bedroom something along those lines well people are staying in their homes most folks don't want buyers coming through their home because people are scared that you have covid 19 and they don't want you breathing your germs in their house which I can't blame them. I wouldn't want you to bring me breathing your, your nasty COVID-19 germs in my house either. But that's kind of what's happened. So there was an article that recently came out that I was reading on um, National Association of Realtors website, which talked about for every, for every 10 homes that are listed on the market, nine of them sell immediately, immediately. 
I have a buddy who's in real estate. He works the West Side Midtown market. He says that he put a house on market within 10 hours. He had like 15 offers. People are looking at houses sight unseen. This is real. This is not just something to say to make people think that, uh, you know, my house is so great or this house is better than the other. People are literally looking at houses sight unseen. They're going on the internet, they're looking at the pictures and saying, well, it's in a good, it seems to be, uh, the neighborhood looks very nice and oh, there's this and there's a Whole Foods around it and there's all of these things. Um, it has to be a nice area. Uh, you know what? We don't have time right now to go look at it. Just buy it. That's what's happening. It's so crazy right now in terms of buying. People are purchasing homes. They're going under contract and they're not even doing due diligence. I just read an article on the local news station here, uh, Fox 5 News. They did a story about people are putting offers in on homes and so that they can win the bid, they're not even going under due diligence in terms of they're not doing inspections and things like that. That's just blows my mind. Like that's nuts. Are you serious? You're not gonna do an inspection? I mean, you move into the house and find out the basement has mold. Are you serious? Like that's just, that's just, that's just, I won't say it's dumb, but it just doesn't make sense. I will always tell you do an inspection, get a survey, all of these great things because they will save you a headache down the line. Um, so it's been nuts. I just kind of wanted to give you guys that. Some things that I want to tell you is, is you have to be ready. Um, on top of people also not going and doing inspections so that they can sweeten the pot and close the deal, folks aren't asking for closing costs. People who really want to win the business, and well, not win the business, but people who really want to win the home and, and, and get the purchase and get that home, buy that home, they're not, they're not asking their sellers for closing costs. Crazy as that may be. We're just not in that same market that maybe we were four or five years ago. I mean, we were in a good market where you could say, hey, give me closing costs. And it depends on area to area, city to city and state to state. You know, this is just our little slice of the pie um, here in our little safe haven of Atlanta, Georgia. But other areas, you know, you might still be able to get closing costs. But I just wanted to give folks who are moving to this area a heads up. Do not come in thinking that this is a, a, a play situation. Do not come in thinking that this is a game. You have to know the right uh, people. You have to have the right market knowledge and be ready to make a move. Um, matter of fact, one last thing I went to in the real estate industry, we call it caravan. And that's basically where real estate agents will go view other realtors properties that they've listed either right when they're putting them on the market or if they've been on the market a while and just to kind of get some freshness to it to get other realtors to view the property. I went to one and one home was offering, let's say $360,000. Let's say this home was 4,000 square feet. I went three houses down, three doors down. This is how hot and crazy this market is. Three doors down. The house down the street is 2,500 square feet. They're asking the same price. Matter of fact, no, they're not even asking the same price. They're asking $5,000 higher than the house that's got 4,000 4, square feet of space. This market is ridiculous. Now, I don't know if that realtor was buying a listing. Um, that particular buyer or seller is, sorry, that particular seller is probably unrealistic, but, and time will show them that. But I just wanna let you know, this is how fast and furious this market is right now. So, I mean, everything that I probably will tell you guys is if you're coming into this market, whether you're buying, selling, or even you're a real estate agent trying to work this market, stay hungry. You gotta be nimble and you gotta make tight, quick, and intelligent, informed decisions. And that's all I'm gonna tell you. Do your research and I think you'll be okay. So hopefully this was able to help somebody right now. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me an email. Uh, my email is listed on my channel. Hey, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. As always, please, please subscribe to the page. You can click that notification bell. Yes, 
Click that notification bell and you'll get emails when I release new videos. Thanks so much for you guys subscribing and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.